Heads in his eyes, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog because I've not been doing one in a while. Um, where should I start? Uh, <laughs> you may be asking yourself, Stray, why didn't you celebrate a video for 70 subscribers? Why didn't you celebrate a video for hitting two years on YouTube? Why do you only show a corner of your room? Is the rest of your room messy? Let me answer those questions with a question. Do you realize how fucked shit has been in this last year? I mean, we got the angriest Clementine as president right now, for right now, as of recording this video. Uh, it could be impeached at any moment. Um, had shit in my life that just went absolutely stupid. And, well, I mean, I'm drinking. So, that should give you a hint as to how much shit actually went on. I hate the world. <laughs> I hate what we're seeing right now. Um, especially considering, you know, how our new president has fucked up everything since day one. I mean, pretty much everything. Everything he's trying to do... And I'm just waiting for the intelligence community to slowly bleed his entire presidency dry just from the information leaks that are coming out. I'm just waiting for that. Um, I have no connection with them, by the way. I'm just, I'm just guessing that they're eventually going to say, fuck you for f saying that we're the assholes out of all of this. Fuck you, Trump. We're going to get you in jail and let you die in there. I'm pretty sure that's what they said, isn't it? There was a tweet flipping around. Not entirely sure if I'll be able to link it, but there you go. Anyway, uh, okay. I was just barely able to get my birthday vacation going. Wasn't able to do anything on it because I was worried to death that something would go wrong at work, which uh, after my birthday vacation, it did. Uh, hmm. The assistant manager decided that after quitting voluntarily, putting in his two weeks, and working those two weeks, he decided he wanted to go out with a bang by doing an hour's worth of bullshit to completely fuck up the kiosk. I work at a fuel station, in case you guys don't know. And left me to clean it up the next morning, which took me an hour. Apparently, it took him an hour to set it up, so of course it makes sense that it took me an hour to clean it up. Um, he did some semi-legal things. It's still up to Safeway to determine if they want to actually press charges or not. But, that said, um, he fucked up, and I was forced to clean it up. I wasn't happy at all. I, uh, of course, gave management all the information about it because fuck him, <laughs> especially when they passed over me for him for that position in the first fucking place. Anyway, then the next Sunday, oh, this happened on Sunday after my birthday, by the way, I figured I should probably mention that. The next Sunday, the replacement co-worker, who has only been there for a week, uh, pretty much. Right after this little hissy fit of our assistant manager, she was hired on. She apparently misread the schedule or just didn't have the proper information about it. And then was a no-call, no-show. And she never picked up the phone. I assumed that she was quitting outright, which was weird because she sounded like she wanted the job. And I was forced to do... Three and a half hours by myself longer than I should have. Um, and we were shorthanded for pretty much the entire day. It was not fun. It was not fun at all. And um, I mean, it's not the first time I've done that. I've done it maybe four or five times in the last year. It's not fun and I hate the shit out of it. And they know that. But what can you do? If I'm forced to do it, I got to fucking do it. But, uh. With the union being a part of the workstation for this year, 
a lot of the stuff that I was able to do last year I couldn't do, so I had to try and figure out a way to fix that, and no one was fucking helping me. <laughs> no one. At all. So, that was fun. I'm still not assistant manager, by the way. I figured I should mention that, because they still don't want to give it to me. Apparently. Fun. You can talk to Safeway about that if you want to. I don't care. I relish it. I'd relish them beating down a door asking, why the fuck aren't you assistant manager? Well, I don't know, because they apparently don't like me. Well, fuck them. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, I went off on a tangent there. I feel I should also mention some of the new stuff that's been going on. Um, somewhat within the realm of YouTube, one of them being, you know what I'm probably going to mention, aren't you? Yeah, you know. You know what I'm going to talk about. It's the disgustingly horrible joke that he defended as dark humor that went absolutely apeshit. Just everyone on the internet was furious, and with good reason. I do not think that it was justifiable by any means as dark humor. Um, I do applaud... Uh, Jacksepticeye for calling it out as horrible bad humor, which even Pudes has mentioned was in bad taste. He realizes he crossed the line, and he realizes he fucked up. He should have known from the get-go, in my opinion, he should have known that that joke in this current political climate, and especially given the history behind those statements, or whatever he was doing, I remember something about Fucking Hitler. That's all I remember in a video of his. All I know is that he should have known better, especially given where he grew up. You know, in that area where that sort of shit went down, he should have known better. He fucked up. He acknowledges that. But he should know. He, should know he shouldn't have done that in the first place. In my opinion. Uh, that said... I, uh, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase, I applaud the networks that dropped him and, you know, YouTube in general for dropping a show, for actually showing some backbone, but at the same time, I also realize that they were doing it to just cover their own ass, just so they don't have this sort of issue becoming an issue for them instead of just for him. And... Personally, I don't condone the harassment and bullshit and death threats that he's been getting, but at the same time, I understand the outrage, and I do say you should, if you don't like that, you don't like his content, don't watch him. Absolutely. Um, he will end up getting watchers anyway, but you know what? You don't have to contribute to it. You don't have to. Um... <sighs> the whole shit, the whole shit was just way out of line, and he should have known that. Even me, the goyim, knows way better than that. <laughs> but, you know what? Whatever. He should have learned his lesson by now, I'm pretty sure he did. And, you know what? As long as he keeps apologizing for it, you know, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, because <laughs> that is a, that is dark humor that our world does not need right now. Especially given what's going on. I mean, <laughs> if you look at it, the anti-Semitic crowd was applauding him for some of that. Because to them, they don't care if it's a joke. They don't care if it's satire. They still think it's validation for them. That's all they care about. All they care about is validation and a little glimmering hope that their ideology is recognized. That's all they want. And they are not worth it. They're not worth it. 
they're not worth making the joke in the first place. Because they can and will try to do the stuff that caused them to be shunned and hated. Again, they will try it. I mean, you've already seen some of the vandalism that's been going on recently. Okay, I've gone off on several tangents in this video. I should end this episode right now of video, vlog, whatever the fuck. I'm on drink five at this point. I had to count in my head. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. I'm pretty sure I did that in the right order. I'm still kind of drunk, so I'm not entirely sure if I did that right. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the bullshit that we're seeing a lot of in this fucking universe that we don't want to live in anymore. Or at least I don't want to. And I will see y'all in the next video, whatever it may be. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games, getting drunk, vlogging, and ranting over pretty much everything that's been happening in the last few months for you.